something very special for you in this morning's Saturday session. The great Aaron Neville, whose whole family is central to the thriving and always influential New Orleans music scene. This week he's been celebrating two anniversaries, his birth in 1941 and the first big success of his great singing career in 1966. Neville headlined a birthday concert Thursday night in Brooklyn and before the show, I sat down with him for a chat. This is a poem you wrote. Yeah, 75, I'm still alive. On his big birthday, Aaron Neville wrote a poem to himself on his iPhone. 75, seen a whole lot of jive. The mistakes that I made for my sins I paid. You're feeling good. You're sounding good. Thank you. You know, people are living a lot longer these days yeah. and not preparing for it. I'm preparing. I'm in the gym and, you know, I'm using my voice. Do you do anything to, to, to keep your voice in shape? Sing. Neville has been singing since he was a boy growing up in New Orleans. His breakthrough came 50 years ago with this ballad, which at first didn't impress him much. And I thought it was just a little simple song, you know. Mm -hmm. So I went in and sang it. So, when it. so when it caught on, what did you sing? Well, I kept saying, uh, I want this other song, you know, my brother would say, no, that's it, that's it, that's it. And it rolled, run up the charts like wildfire, you know. Next thing you know, I was at the Apollo and on tour with Otis Redding, and it was cool. Tell It Like It Is spent five weeks atop the soul chart, but Neville would also have his share of struggles. How long were you in here? Six months. Six months. As he told me in a 2013 interview for CBS Sunday Morning, he did time in a New Orleans prison for joyriding as a teenager and was later busted for drugs. But in 1989, a duet with Linda Ronstadt helped reignite his career and won him the first of four Grammys. On his new album, Apache, Neville wrote all of the lyrics himself. I put her into my heart and said, I've been writing lyrics down for a long time. Yeah, it helps me to just, you know, whatever's. If I'm going through something, I write about it and make it all right, you know. They all go into his iPhone. I did the worst to myself. I regret when I wronged someone else. Like his birthday poem to himself. Some of the people that were friends of mine are either dead, crazy, or doing time. <laughs> so I'm glad that I'm still alive. I'm glad I made it to 75 by Aaron J. Neville. Happy birthday, Aaron Neville. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.